Hello Libra, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. This is a general reading for your Libra placements for the first half of April. Libra, as I was tapping into your energy, I got giddy. It was like um, a nervous giddy. And it was, it was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. So I don't know what this is. It's like, oh, I'm nervous. Oh, I'm nervous. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. But it was exciting. And it was like, maybe I shouldn't, but I, but maybe I should. And it was, I really like it. I really like it. Okay. So Libra, please. Thank you. Softly, softly, the tender touch. All right. This has an affirmation in it that we will do at the end. Oh, she's crying. Why, Libra? Why are you crying? Are you? Is this someone else? I don't know. We're going to find out. But it does not coincide with the energy. So we're going we're gonna, to... Maybe you're, maybe you're sad right now. But... I think that's going to change. The feminine wisdom of gentleness can assist you now. When we are at a point in life where we want to attain greater things, but don't necessarily have a proportionately greater supply of energy at our disposal, it is time to work smarter rather than harder. This is the way of feminine wisdom. However, a cultural ignorance of the feminine way currently prevails. We are generally taught that the more force we use, the more we try to make things happen, the more we achieve. The feminine way is not about force, nor is it about driving, striving, pushing, or grabbing at what we can in order to create. It is about inviting what we wish for for to come into the space we have provided for it internally and in our lives. This method cultivates more energy, causes less stress, and attracts what is desired. It is manifestation by invitation rather than by will or force. Oh, so you're feeling at, you're feeling stuck like you can't make something happen. Oh, let's get your card in here, shall we? There we go. Um, like you can't make something happen when in reality, you just have to provide it space. Oh, interesting. Let's see where you're going and how you should get there. A little bit more information about that. Now, when Spirit told me which decks to use, I didn't even realize it was Sacred Rebels Oracle and Sacred Traveler Oracle that they both had sacred. So this definitely seems like a sacred time. This is, I know that this month is going to be big for everyone. So perhaps looking at it as though it is a sacred time is going to be beneficial. You got three. Okay. Um is going to be beneficial for you. Okay, your first card is navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. Does it incur a sense of joy within you? Overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. Oh, and this one's in reverse. Narrow pathway. Tread thoughtfully. And why is this one in reverse? I think this one is in reverse because you don't know where you're going or how you're or or how you're going to get there. I think that you're going to have to just take a blind step forward is what I think, Libra. You're going to have to trust that the universe is going to catch you and not overthink it. That's what I think. I think that every step you take forward with this Libra, the next step is going to be revealed to you. But the important thing is, is to move forward, is to take that first step. Three of Wands, Six of Swords. You have to take that first step so that the next step can be revealed. Allowing space in your heart, and this is truth. 
listen closely to this, allow space in your heart, in your mind, and in your life for whatever this is that is coming in, that you wish to bring in. Look forward with hope and optimism and love looking for the signs because it does want to come in, Libra. Whatever this is does want to come in. Five of Wands, Nine of Wands, got to let down those guards. Ten of Pentacles, you know what this is. And the Four of Cups. All right, hold on. I want a clarifiers. You're the only sign that I have used clarifiers for. Okay. So you have some internal struggle about allowing this. You are going to get help on the way. Here you are. You are going to get help on the way. Okay? Along the way. You are going to get help along the way. There, you're going to have to turn your cup. Your, your, your cup. I said your cup. You're going to have to turn your cup away from something. You're going to have to turn your cup away from this, being so guarded. Now, I'm not saying that you should go back to a past situation, all right? I'm not saying that. We got the Ten of Pentacles again. This is the past situation. Tower is on the bottom with the Ten of Pentacles. Why the tower? Because you're moving away. You're moving away from whatever this was. And this is where you're at now. <gasps> Oh, there's been conflict in the past and it took a lot for you to move away from it. And because of that, you're guarded. Could be work, could be love, could be friends. But this is where you're at now. This is why you don't even see it coming. This is, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So the tower is that you actually move forward strength. You are capable of doing this. Why are you doubting your self-love? Ten of cups, or yeah, with the ten of pentacles there and the tower, you might very well be moving. You might very well be moving, especially with that six of swords. Libra's taking a leap of faith. Ooh, I like it. I like it, but you are going to have to be open to new experiences and to actually having victory. Libra, are you leaving behind a situation where you felt like you had to beg an emperor? Work, love, life, family, whatever. I think that's what you're moving away from. I do. I do. You would offer something to the emperor, and because it was the emperor, it was not fair and balanced. You are healing from that, love. You are healing from that. Six of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're deciding to cut out a past situation. This Ten of Pentacles. You once thought it was everything. What's the Four of Cups? What's the Four of Cups? Knight of Pentacles. There you are again. With the Nine of Wands. You see what I'm seeing? This just came out in here, in the cut. And you have the Nine of Wands twice. It's time to move out of this energy, love. All right? And you're in that energy because you're not moving. You're stagnant. You're stuck and you're stagnant. You're very, very guarded. Now, you can drop one or two of those wands, okay? It's okay to drop one or two of these wands, but it's time for you to move forward now, I think. You're in your head. Get out of your head. Two nines. Two nines. You are almost ready. You are almost ready to have victory. One more. Page of Swords. Yeah, you're gathering information. You're gathering information. I like this. I like this a lot, Libra. Seven of Cups, High Priestess, 
Ten of Wands. Beautiful. Gorgeous. You know what to do. You do. You've had the ten. You've had a ten like four times now. You got ten of pentacles and ten of wands. You know what's real. You know what to do. You know what not to trust. And you know that if you take a step forward, you're going to be releasing these ten of wands. But what would it be like? What would it be like for Libra? What would it be like for Libra if they release this ten of wands, this burden that they've been carrying for a long time? Look at, you see this? Ten of wands, seven of wands. What happens if you do, like I said, and just release three of those wands? You're at the top of the hill. Nobody can take you off. Nobody can say you're wrong because you know where you're right. And you move forward. I keep, this card keeps coming up, Libra. What happens if you release three of those wands? Seven of wands. You can't go backwards. Okay, we're going to get a Dreams of Gaia card for you. For everyone that comments, likes, shares, all that good stuff, I want you to know how much I appreciate it. Okay, and join us for a live. Get a free question. It's my way of giving back to you because I'm so thankful for you. What advice do you have for Libra, please? And then we're going to read the affirmation. What advice do you have for Libra, please? Thank you. Queen of Air. Oh my God, it's you. It's you. It's your card. Holy crap. Okay, let's see what it means in this deck. I'll show you the card. Hold on. Water, fire. Six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Queen of Air. Your advice from spirit. Weaver, observant, wise, truthful, analytical, strategist, just, detachment. It's time to be realistic. Be observant, plan, organize, and determine your course of action. A need for emotional detachment. Be decisive and precise. Choose your words with care. Stick to the facts. And don't allow your intellect to alienate. In other words, just because you are smarter than someone doesn't mean to throw it in their face, right? Because you're Libra. Embrace how incredibly intelligent you actually are. That's a birthright. All right. Number 30. Nope. Number 20. Okay. So the affirmation. Say this, say this right out, out repeat it after me. Okay. Oh, I like this. I shine like the sun, radiant with grace, and all that I desire comes to me according to perfect timing. I relax, believe and receive through unconditional love this is now so. Libra, this was a wonderful reading. I don't know what I'm going to call it. Embracing your feminine. Embracing your true self. Forging forward. Guys, I love this. I will see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.